Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Fabian from the Paper Letter blog and today I'm showing you how I make a subscriber mail. The first thing I always do is pick a tea from that basket that is probably 90% filled with teas that I got from you guys in my PO box. And today I picked this one, um, Spiced Apple, and I think I got it from Emma, if I remember correctly. Did I remember correctly? <laughs> Then now I'm just counting how many subscriber meals I have and I let Google pick a random number and it picked number 13. So then I <laughs> look for number 13 because that will be the meal that I am replying to today. And it is that cute envelope, which was part one of two from beautiful mail that I received from Anne. And while I already had the idea to make a fall themed meal for today, I was actually even more excited because I know that Anne really loves fall and um, she sent me a beautiful box with goodies and a lot of handmade things <laughs> uh, a lot of them were also fall themed so I was really excited to make this well <laughs> fall themed meal for her <laughs> So I picked that paper uh, from a paper pad that I got from Action. I actually got it last year, but I barely used it because I find it a little bit difficult to craft with those colors, you know, the orange, the brown and the yellow and the red, <laughs> because those are really fall colors. Um, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I have to say that I really, really enjoy going out of my comfort zone. So. I've been playing around with colors and different materials that I find really matching for fall, such as craft paper. And in this meal, I also tried some of those ideas. So tell me, is it fall where you are or is it spring like in Australia? I can definitely say that it is fall here. Um, I don't know if I like it a lot because I usually prefer spring, <laughs> but um, it has been really, really weird here because one week I was still in a t-shirt and the next week I had to wear a scar and gloves and I'm still not really used to that although I also have to say I really do enjoy those days you can spend inside reading a book drinking some tea making some mail <laughs> and I have to say that I have been working in the cat cafe a lot lately I now start working three days a week so hopefully that will be better for me just to get adjusted and um not worry too much and also have some time to take everything in because it has been going really really quickly and I I feel like I barely have time to process it all but when I do work I have to say I really enjoy it because um, the cat cafe where I work we're basically a living room a large living room so we also have couches and we have rugs and um, of course four cats so it's a really really relaxed area to be in and it has been raining a lot and it's just so, it has something so comforting to be inside when it rains i don't know if you guys agree but we have these really really big windows so we can see um, this is a little bit mean but we can see people out in the cold and we're inside and warm <laughs> and actually quite warm because it has been really really busy and um i'm usually the waitress so i'm usually in the front you know communicating with the guests and um well in front of the restaurant but the last week I have started doing something that is actually new to me and that is the bar side of the restaurant. So that means that I prepare all of the coffees and the teas and the drinks and I, um, yeah, I make sure <laughs> everyone gets their drinks. So I've actually been in the kitchen more, which is new to me and I, I, I never thought I would enjoy it. But I have to say it's a really different kind of rush because although I do not communicate with the guests as much which is something that I usually really enjoy it has something I would almost call it addictive uh, when you have a like for example people would come in at 12 and they would all come at the same time so it's really really busy and 
you get that rush of having to do so much in so little time and I, I, I never really enjoy stress but this is also a good kind of stress when you know that you've got it covered when you know that you can make those cappuccinos and those lattes and whatever else it is people order and when that rush is over like when the people are seated and they all have their drinks and you still have to make drinks but not all at the same time you really get that satisfaction of knowing that you handled your ground and you survived and you did well i hope that makes sense but that is actually what i also used to like about waitressing when there are so many tables you have to look after and you still manage to do a good job that just gives some kind of rush there's no other way i can explain it and with the cat cafe that is a little bit different because it waitressing there is just really different it's a little bit less running around and more interacting with guests which is something that i really like but i have to say the the diversity is what makes it best for me because i think after a long day of talking with people about cats, which is something I love, I do get a little bit tired of it because you have the same conversation the entire time, which is not something bad, but it is a nice uh, change to be in the kitchen and to make the drinks for for once. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. I'm just trying to paint a picture for you here of what my days look like. And uh, while they are really, really hectic, I have to say it's quite rewarding as well. Especially because I really get along well with my boss and co-workers and that hectic, you know, the, the craziness of how busy it is, is actually what brings you closer together in a way. I guess that's the only way I can explain it. When you survive, <laughs> it sounds really dramatic, but I've had this with other co-workers in other jobs as well. When you survive a hectic day, you just... You get that feeling of teamwork <laughs> and that is something that i really really missed when i wasn't working so a lot of positive experiences here also a lot of very very tired evenings but i have to say so far so good okay and let me explain a little bit about this meal because that is um quite probably why you're here um what i'm gluing down now is actually a vellum envelope that i cut apart to turn into a pocket um, that mushroom that I'm cutting is from a vintage nature book and the picture in the middle is also vintage. I got it in, I don't remember, I think I got it from one of my pen pals. And all the papers in the background are from the book, the flow book for paper lovers. They're either on the right you have those double-sided two-color papers <laughs> if you have the book you'll know what i mean and on the left you have a, a printed paper and in the middle you have something that was actually on the back of one of the pages that i didn't really like so i just used the back instead and another vintage mushroom and that little music paper envelope i got in a subscriber mail I have to say this correctly i think i got it from sammy please correct me if i'm wrong <clears throat> it's not that i don't remember who is who but uh, i there's so much mail in one go that sometimes the lines get a little bit blurred and i decided to reuse it because it's just so cute and i love that idea of turning a tiny uh, or a piece of uh, music paper into a tiny washi type mm, pocket and I'm covering the line between two pages up with some washi type. Oh, and I think I forgot to say it, but that gold splatter that I did is... Wait, I have it right next to me. It's called Carrot Cake Spray Chemical Gold. So but you're actually supposed to spray it, but I prefer to spray splatter it on the page i did spray it on the envelope but splattering just looks a little bit more fun in my opinion and then i'm adding a whole lot of nouveau crystal drops around on the page to make it even more mm, playful and also on another page and I, I added two puffy stickers on the middle page which i really love and um, they're puffy stickers that i got from um dls what is it called again document live stories yeah that's an, a, a dutch web shop and they had a um 
how do you call that b-side product like a product that wasn't perfect so they sold it at a discount but i honestly have no idea what is wrong with those stickers because they're pretty they're puffy fall themed stickers and now i am making uh something that i <laughs> i've done this before because i love it so much that's a vintage playing card mm, it's one of the first things i bought in a thrift store for mail and then I put some dried flowers. I got these dried flowers in subscriber mail again from Anna from Spain. And then I glue down those flowers with a wax seal. So, and that just, I don't know, I just like the way that looks. And I, I used dark green and some sort of greenish golden wax seal beads and now I'm also dripping a little bit on the page Rip. and I love the contrast between that dark wax seal and those pretty rosy flowers and now I'm using a paint pen to uh, color in my bee design and that's the finished result I gave the body of the bee a golden touch and the wings a green and then on the front of that card is just a vintage flower decoration. And now I'm going to do something that I also, this idea I also got again in that same meal where I also got the little washi type pocket from. This is a different way of folding a pocket. So what you do is you make a square and then you turn it into a triangle by folding the top left to the bottom right. As you can see, turn it into a triangle. I don't know what that background sound is here. I'm going to explain and then you do the, the fold the left part over to the right and then the right part over to the left. I cannot explain this any more clearly. Just watch my hands and hopefully you'll be able to copy it. And then you're going to fold the top flap, one of the top flaps down. And what this does is it's basically an origami way of making a very pretty pocket. I had never seen this before. I had never done this before. And you can decide to either uh, put the flap, the last flap you folded over the other two flaps are behind and I'm, I'm choosing to put it behind because I just like that mustard color a bit better. Um, but it's basically an origami way of creating a little pocket and I really liked it. Like I said, I had never seen it before. It is in subscriber mail opening number five, if I'm not mistaken. And I decided to see if I could make one myself because I really like learning from you guys. <laughs> so all credits go, uh, not to me, of course. And I'm just now I'm just gluing it down, but I don't know. I think the one I received was not glued down. That's just something I like to do. And then, oh, this is just an envelope I made a whole a very long time ago, and I'm going to fill it with those pretty washi type stickers. All of them in a fall, <coughs> excuse me, in a fall theme. Okay, somewhere, somewhere, some wow. <laughs> Let's do that again. Someone, somewhere in the apartment building we live in is i don't know drilling or something i really hope you cannot hear it on the voiceover i don't know why people do that it's a sunday when i'm doing this voiceover let me have my quiet sunday please <laughs> i had to work last sunday um so i want to enjoy this lazy day now i'm using a jelly roll to write for you a white jelly roll they're so nice to work with i got this one from roxanne a long time ago but they're really nice to work with and I'm uh, tucking that envelope into the pocket I made earlier <clears throat> then I'm putting that origami pocket on the left and I'm uh, adding that little foam fox that I got in a swap and I added a again a fall fall flavored <laughs> tea in that pocket and I'm now going to use that golden strip I don't know it's it's called cardstock I had I've had it since I was a child my mom actually brought it here she said oh I found this in one of your old drawers I thought maybe you can use it since you're now crafting again 
and I used that to make a washi tape sample and I'm now just trying to figure out where to put it. I put the washi tape sample in that purity uh, music paper pocket. By the way, I want to ask, how do you guys feel about me reusing those things like those little envelopes? Is that okay? I usually don't mind it when a pen pal reuses something. That's why I make the envelopes, um, why I glue them down, not with glue, but with washi tape so that my pen pals can reuse them. But if you are not okay with it, feel free to let me know. And yeah, <laughs> these are some butterflies that I got from Action a long time ago. And I thought they matched so well, like orange brownish. And I'm using foam tape to elevate them, make them stand out a little bit more. I think they, they go so well with this theme. Even though I don't even know, are there butterflies in fall? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. But uh, what I'm doing now is actually something new. So I'm cutting up a bunch of cardstock and then I'm stamping on that mushroom stamp. So the reason why I'm doing that is because um, Anne actually ordered something from my Etsy store a little while ago and then I put that stamp on a tag and she liked it so much that she messaged me about it so I thought I would add some more on cardstock with waterproof ink so that she can actually color them in if she likes and I'm also making some collage tags I don't really know how to explain this but basically what you do is you use different colors of ink and different stamps and you stamp them all around the page to make some sort of a collage it's something new i've been trying and i really like the way this looks so we've got a bunch of leaves and um, mushrooms i don't know we have a bunch of different designs and different stamp inks and i i have to say i really like the way this looks so she can use these for collaging or for decorating or in her journal or whatever and some of these only have the mushroom stamp on one side and some of these have both the mushroom stamp and the leaves on there so she can choose whether or not she wants to use the front or the back I don't know yep <clears throat> so I'm putting those in behind that envelope as well that I just think that's a fun idea to share some uh, stamps with your fan pals and that card that I just showed you is from Little Lefty Lou. Um, she's in Louisette is a Dutch Etsy shop and she sells those cards and I really liked it. And it's, of course it says enjoy autumn. So I thought I would write my message to Anne on there. So the meal is that flip book together with the card. And I also decorated the envelope and that video is already online on my channel. I will link it down below and um, yeah, I don't know. I think I finished. I really hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Mm, subscri subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out all my other flipbook videos. Okay, bye-bye.